Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at uh, Craig Blomberg, one of the great uh, scholars on the Gospels, and just listening to what he has to say. Uh, Lee Strobel, interviewing, interviewing this uh, great scholar, uh, said, While I appreciate Blomberg's comments so far, I wasn't ready to move on yet. The issue of who wrote the Gospels is tremendously important. I wanted specific details, names, dates, quotations. I finished off my coffee and I put the cup on his desk pen points that I prefer to dig deeper. Let's go back to Mark, Matthew and Luke, I said. What specific evidence do you have that they are the authors of the Gospels? Blomberg leaned forward again. The oldest and probably most significant testimony comes from Papias, who in about AD 125 specifically affirmed that Mark had carefully and accurately recorded Peter's eyewitness observations. In fact, he said Mark made no mistake and did not include any false statement. Papias said Matthew had preserved the teachings of Jesus as well. Then Irenaeus, writing about 180, uh, confirmed the traditional authorship. In fact, he said, and reaching for a book, he flipped it open and Irenaeus' words he read, Matthew published his own gospel among the Hebrews in their own tongue when Peter and Paul were preaching the gospel in Rome and founded the church there. After their departure, Mark, the disciple of it, and the interpreter of Peter himself, handed down to us the writings and substance of Peter's preaching. Luke, the follower of Paul, set down in a book the gospel preached by his teacher. Then John, the disciple of the Lord, who also leaned on his breast himself, produced his, his gospel while he was living at Ephesus in Asia. Uh, we'll listen to a little bit more of uh, Blomberg. Um, and continue to work on that. Then, in a very different category, and there are more examples that could be given in each of these, I've listed what I call unfounded claims of textual corruption. And again, this is not an issue that divides bona fide biblical scholars. Uh, it is widely agreed that the text, particularly of the New Testament, certainly of, uh, of both Testaments compared to works of the ancient world in general, but particularly the New Testament because of the thousands of manuscripts, first in Greek and in other ancient languages that have been preserved uh, from the first millennium of the Christian era, hundreds from the first several centuries, from fragments to relatively complete documents, that we are able to reconstruct with 97, some would say 99 plus percent certainty, what the original New Testament writers wrote. Now that's a completely different question than do we believe what they wrote? But if we're not even sure if we have accurate copies and translations of what they wrote, then that makes the, the truth question, the question that the Veritas Forum asks. So, Blomberg... Um, basically quoting Irenaeus is saying that uh, the Gospels were already seen as authoritative early on in the early church and writing about 180 says is Irenaeus and then uh, Blomberg saying saying there that um, what's he saying uh, I'm just a bit tired now um, just plug my memory, sorry about this. Of books than anything. Oh yeah, textual criticism. Um, yeah, the more manuscripts you have, the better you can put together the text. Uh, the more ancient manuscripts you have. And people don't realise that the New Testament is the most well-attested ancient document in history. There are more uh, copies of the New Testament, ancient copies of the New Testament, than there are for any other ancient book. So if we know what Iliad wrote, uh, Omer wrote, if we know what Tacitus wrote, Josephus wrote, only with uh, a small number of manuscripts compared to the New Testament, which is five to up to 20,000 manuscripts, then there's a big difference there. And uh, we shouldn't be so sceptical.